quick look today at the RCR123A cells from Olight. This is a sample that the company has sent me. These are the rechargeable CR123As and they can be quite useful for various items. On the back we have some information. Note that these are protected cells so they're protected against over discharge and overcharging. Now taking these out, easiest to just push them through the back of the packet and moving in closer to look at the cells you'll see the information on the side, safety precautions etc about short circuit. Now if I compare these to the Surefire on the right which is a non-rechargeable battery you always get higher capacity on non-rechargeable lithium ions for the same size but the idea here is obviously that you can recharge the cell. I'm comparing it to the uh, battery which comes with the S1R baton. This is a high power battery. Now I'm going to put this cell, the new cell, into the S1R baton and you will see there is a drawback to the cell it is on the highest power level which I'll be going up to shortly with the turbo double press and the protection cell kicks in. So that's a 900 lumen torch. Same again for the TR10 Rofus. This is capable of up to 900 lumens output. So it's fine for normal use um, up to the mid to high and then as soon as you try to go to the turbo the protection kicks in. Now the battery that comes with the S1R baton is a special battery. It's capable of handling high power drain and this also works in the TR10 at the highest modes perfectly. So if you have those two torches or similar ones, there aren't that many around with the CR123A cells that can reach 900 lumens, you won't be able to use the top power settings on them. So do bear that in mind. Now with the H1R Nova, this is up to around 600 lumens. No problems at all with this. Now this can reach the highest power output for that torch. It's just that the current drain is too high for the cell. Now you don't just have to use these for torches. You can use them for other devices. I have a few film cameras around. So sometimes I might want to use them with this, even though they're very slightly longer than the non-rechargeable ones by a fraction. It's absolutely no problem. They work perfectly well in devices like cameras as well. Now onto the capacity test. Both cells came in just under the 600 milliamps an hour and that's pretty much in line with other cells that I've looked at um, in the rechargeable CR123A. So that's within an acceptable margin of error. Overall these are quite good batteries and certainly very useful to have as well as a spare battery for any torches that you have in this form factor and other devices. I would like to see perhaps a higher power variant brought out from Olight which would allow you to use the top power settings on a few select models that have a 900 lumens output. That's probably the only drawback that I could see. The capacities were quite good, just a touch under the indicated label capacity. So don't forget to subscribe if you found the video useful where I'll be looking at other torch reviews, batteries and chargers etc in the future and I will see you in the next video.